Hey everyone, I am back today doing, I'm pretty positive that I am going to be uploading this video today, which means two videos today. I recently just uploaded my huge Dollar Tree haul, had a ton of Valentine's Day items in there for my planner and pocket letters and stuff. So if you want to go see what I got, go check that video out. I will link it down below for you. And today, this is my gorgeous happy planner. This planner you can buy at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Amazon, and I think that the Happy Planner people have their own website as well, but it is cheaper to find these at Michael's or Hobby Lobby and use their 40% off coupons, which will bring it to about like 14 or 15 and bucks and you can even get these for cheaper if you have like a 50% off coupon I don't know how people get a hold of those, but I've heard it's out there. So there is that um that is a question that I see quite often is where do I get this planner? And they, this happy planner is f like almost pretty much fully customizable. It That is how it differs from the Erin Condren. Plus this is way cheaper than Erin Condren. I don't even know how much the Erin Condren is. Somewhere in the neighborhood of $50, maybe even more. But the Erin Condren, you cannot really like peel these off like everything can come off of these little binder rings you can actually even insert different color binder rings and i picked out this pattern for my cover the white with the gold foiled dots take you to my current spread so if you want to see how i did this spread i will link my planner playlist down below and you can go see all of the spreads that i have done to date this one i have on my channel as well. But today I'm not actually going to decorate. Next week I am going to show you a DIY. Are you guys ready? Ta da! Yeah, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've been waiting for this, you've seen this. Follow me on Instagram to get the like, like, the scoop before I even post on YouTube. Um, cheap Crafty Girl, I will link that down below for you as well. So today I am gonna share with you how to make your own planner inserts. Even if you can't get your hands on a happy planner, you can get yourself a binder and make these inserts. And I will tell you guys that this is way more functional for me to personally use with, with, the way that my life works. So the planner is all about your life. I've seen some people comment and say, you don't have anywhere to write on. Hey, listen, you know what? This is my planner. This is how I decorate it. It's geared towards my lifestyle, how much stuff I have going on. And sometimes I just don't have that much going on. So I can just decorate it as much as I want to. And that is what is awesome about the planner, you guys. Plan this the way that it fits your lifestyle best. If you have a ton going on, you may benefit from the stickers from Etsy where they sell the little headers. They sell like headers like to do and work. They sell icons for working out and how much water you take in. And they have little check boxes. If you just have so much in your life that you have to put it down in a planner and check off, then yes, I would totally go to Etsy, check out those stickers and get involved in that. But my life is a little bit more simple. I do have a lot going on in terms of stuff with my daughter. But other than that, I'm just kind of letting you know what I do, and I wanted to do some DIY inserts. I am not gonna take credit for this whatsoever. I am obsessed with planner videos. That's all I do is watch them. And I got this idea from Philo Mios. Mios? I am not sure what her name is. She is also on Instagram, and she also sells all of the stuff that she like makes on her DIY inserts, she sells them on her Etsy uh, what, shop. And I figured, you know what, I wanna do that for my planner too, and I figured I would share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I go ahead and get started, I wanna just kinda answer some questions. This may be a little bit of a longer video just because it is my very first time doing this kind of a video. So I'm gonna answer a lot of questions that I think you might have, and I'm really gonna take my time to describe all of the steps for this process. And one of the first questions that I think you might have is, what does it mean to have a DIY insert? Does that mean you're gonna use this and not this? Does it mean you're gonna use both things? Well, as of right now, I will tell you that I am definitely going to be doing this a lot now. Um, I think that this spread makes more sense to my lifestyle because I can like 
put things into different categories instead of like just doing things for that certain day because sometimes you just don't know when certain things are gonna happen. But for right now, I am gonna end up doing both. And then I will see as time goes by which one serves a better function for me. So for right now, I am gonna be doing my DIY inserts and I'm gonna be doing my weekly spreads that are in my Happy Planner. And I think, I am not sure, but I think these are gonna be I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these actually. I don't know if I am going to remove these from this planner and put them in a binder, or if I am going to be including these inside of my happy planner just to keep it all in one place for right now. But as you can imagine, it will probably make my planner very bulky. So I don't have an answer to that just yet because it is new and you know I'm just gonna try this out, put it in here, see how it lives, see how much function it serves, and you never know. I may not end up liking this at all. I may end up just going back to this full time and never really doing anything like this. So we shall see. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to replicate this page to the T. I obviously went ahead and made it. I don't have the video footage of it just because I was playing around. So I am going to be making this from scratch. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it over here and all you need to get started is printer paper, you guys. And at first I thought maybe I'm gonna need, get some cardstock so that it's a little bit thicker, but once you add all of the um, like notepads and notes, like stuff like this to it, it actually thickens it up quite a bit and you get really amazing support. So the first thing that I actually have to do is cut this paper down to fit my happy planner. So if I am going to insert this into the happy planner, I do need to cut this down to fit the page. Take this little page out and use it as a template. And I am just going to basically cut around it. There we go. Now I am going to do the same thing with the second page that I have those cut up. I'm going to put them right beside each other just so that it's easier to work with. Even though we are going to cut it later on and you'll see what I'm talking about. I am going to take this washi. I did pull out all of my scrapbook items, uh, craft items that I felt would go with this theme. So I'm going to use this met green and we are going to basically put this at the very top like this and these are sticking outside of the pages but that's okay because this actually keeps it down on the mat that I'm working with so that it won't move around now I am going to take this washi I got this at the Dollar Tree last year I cannot wait to see the washi collection that they have for this year I'm going to take this and I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm also going to take the same washi and put it up here at the top. Perfect to the page. Next thing that I did was I took one of these sheets from this notepad. I recently just hauled this from the Target Dollar Spot. If you want to go see all of the things that I purchased from the Target Dollar Spot, go check that video out. I will link it for you down below as well. I'm going to take one of these sheets and I'm going to line it up right here. And now I am going to use a glue stick to put it to the back of this. Now I'm going to take this little flag right here. I got it from Joann's. It's a Studio 112 line. Everything in this line is a dollar at my local Joann fabric store. I also share this in a haul, so if you just want to go check out all of my hauls there on my channel, I am going to peel one of these and it will go right here. So I'm also going to use a glue stick because 
Most of these flags don't have the best adhesive and it's not on the entire portion of the back. So really make sure that you get the edges. Okay, now I'm going to take this little piece from this set. It's also from Target Dollar Spot and I'm gonna put it down here. Now you are gonna look for your edge because you don't wanna go over it because this belongs on one side of the planner and this belongs on the other side. So we are going to put some glue here. Now I'm gonna take one of these cards and put it at the top. I'm not actually gonna use the same one from my last spread. I do get two of each in my Project Life little cards that I got for Christmas, um, also on my video, and or on my channel. I don't wanna use the second one because I'm gonna use it like in another spread, but I've got these two and I think I'm actually gonna go with this little green one. And what I love about this one is that I can write stuff in here. So this is really great for this DIY as well because you do wanna give yourself places to write. We aren't really scrapbooking, although it kind of looks like it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the edge. And the reason why you wanna put these on the edge as well as because you're really giving some strong enforcement right here because this section, you're actually going to punch holes and that's gonna go into your binder. So anything right here, you wanna put something so that it's a little bit stronger. Now I am going to take these little flags also from the Target Dollar Spot and I'm gonna take this pink one and we're gonna put this kind of centered and then I'm gonna take a blue one and put it here actually. I'm gonna move this up a little bit like this because I do wanna see my cute little sprinkles. So, and I do want this centered because it would just kind of look a little bit too weird off to the right. been trying out the little uh, glue tape from Hobby Lobby. I'll show you in a second. But for this, I've preferred the glue stick. It's not the neatest, but I prefer the glue stick for sure, just because I can get into the corners of everything. This is what I'm talking about, the crafter's tape. Um, usually I use this for my happy planner, but you can't really get this that great into the corners. And for some reason, I find it like really difficult to use this, like to pick up and move tape, I don't know. So anyway, just some good old glue stick really works and I'm about to run out. Now, there was one mistake that I made in my last one, which I took this washi and laid it down first, and then I applied this on top of it, but I really didn't want that look. I want the washi to be on top. So I am going to take this cute washi. It's also from the Dollar Tree from last year's collection. I'm not sure if the sound is going to pick it up, but my daughter's in the shower so you can kind of hear it running. Okay, now let's go ahead and add some fun little flags to this little bottom section. A sweet subscriber sent these to me and I was so excited because she didn't even know this, but I have been eyeing these flags and the Alice in Wonderland flags and this one. I mean, it was like she read my mind. I was about to purchase these and then she sent them to me and I was just like, what? So, and these are just incredibly perfect for this spread. So let's go ahead and pick out a couple. Let me use that one. That one. This is like a little donut sweet slash Valentine's Day spread. Not actually using the yellow ones, just because they don't really go. 
We need to go ahead and glue those down. Okay, got those glued down. I actually ran out of my glue stick, so I am gonna have to use my crafter's tape for the rest of this tutorial. And we are gonna use some cute little donut sticky notes also from the Target dollar spot. So I am actually going to use two of these. Another problem that I actually have with the crafter's tape, well, especially this one, because it does say permanent, but the moment you put it down, they mean permanent. It will not move. And if you move it, it will tear the page underneath. I know that they have some different ones that's like removable and it stays sticky and you can lift it up, put it back down. Um, so just a heads up for if you buy the one that says permanent. Oh, I got lucky. Now we're going to add the same little flag to the center here. And by doing this, instead of using washi, you're giving yourself like more room to write things on. And we're gonna take the same pastel mint green polka dot. I got this from Hobby Lobby, I believe. I'm gonna put it right here underneath. This is also from the Dollar Tree, last year's collection. I do not have any in their 2016 collection just yet. Now I'm gonna go to this sticky note one more time and I am going to grab two of these. And the reason for using, again, all of these little note sheets is to give yourself room to write on right, because we're not actually scrapbooking, we are making a planner insert. Now I am going to take a piece of this. These are just some really cute page flags. My mom actually sent these to me. These are Target dollar spot. I Oops, I personally didn't see these at mine, but the, but these are very easily uh, terrible, if that's even a word. Um, so you have to be very careful. I go through so many of these trying to get it right. And I like to put it over here. It makes it kind of look like, gives it a little like hat. I don't know. Now I'm gonna take some of these page flags and put it on top here so that we can give these little boxes some headers. You don't have to do this step. You can just put your header right here at the top, but giving it some more little flags just kind of makes it look like, when you, whenever you layer things, it just gives it more like detailness and depth to it, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna line one up right here. And actually, you know what? That was the color I did in my last spread. Let's go with this like hot pink color this time. Mm. These can change. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna be doing the same exact sections every single time. So I do like this AM and PM over here. Maybe things that I have to do in the morning on a weekly basis and the things that I have to do at night on a weekly basis. Now I'm just going to go over it in my pink marker and I'm gonna give it some little dots at the end to make it like whimsical. If I had like a white gel pen that would have looked really cool right here instead of black because black kind of I mean there's black right here so I guess it's okay and then this little section right here I did books on my last one and maybe I won't have like a books um 
to do for every single week. So I could switch this out and do something a little bit different. I could actually make this little section on my daughter. Pumpkin, that is what I call her. Oh my gosh, yes, this is so adorable. So I am going to definitely gravitate towards anything that is pink and doesn't really have this green because that green doesn't, like, it'll, it will throw this off in my opinion. Oops, I want to put these right here. I got these stickers from the Dollar Tree. Okay, let's see. Let's go with this one and put it right here. And then I want to add this ice cream cone. I really love this little ice cream cone. Put it right here. Here. Let's do one right here. And then I will take this ice cream cone that's kind of white and put it right here. So now we are almost finished. The last thing that we want to do is start peeling this up. And I'm going to peel it up very gently. And then I am going to take my card and trim it. Okay, so now as you can see, they're still stuck together because we have to cut in the middle. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut right there. And then cut right there. Okay, so now we are going to get our happy planner and make our little dots for where we're gonna punch our holes. And then I take my little marker and I make my dots. But you wanna make sure that you make your dots a little bit like further out because the page isn't completely like, you know, pressed up on if that makes sense. So Hey, now I have my holes cut out, but the Binder rings don't open, so you have to cut little slits, and you want to cut a little bit thick. The, the piece should fall out, so here it is right here, because it needs to be thick enough to grab the rings, or to go around the Happy Planner rings. This may be a trial and error, so I would do a practice sheet beforehand. So there is that side, and now I'm going to do the same exact thing for this side. And now we are all done. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Give this video a thumbs up if you love this video and if you want to see me do more of these. And another thing that I love about this is that the back is completely white and gives you so much more writing room as well. And yeah, I'm so excited to be doing some more personalized sheets. So I hope you guys love this video so that I can keep doing some more of these and sharing them with you guys. Now I have myself a very personalized DIY insert. I can just go to different sections for certain things. I can also use the weekly spread and it can sit right here in between my week. Or I can just do a binder full of these little spreads and use this instead of this. Or I could use both things, it doesn't really matter. But that is what I love about this. It's so freestyle and beautiful and I'm absolutely in love with this. So I'm so happy that I was able to share it with you guys. That's all that I have for today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye